Hi, it's Erica from Erica's Little Welsh Garden. Happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there. I hope you're being really spoilt. Um, I've been really lucky today and my son and daughter have given me a year's subscription to the RSPB. Um, it came with this lovely nesting box that hopefully we can get put up this week. Um, it came with a British birds identification book, which is great because, to be honest, unless it's a robin, a blackbird, a magpie or a blue tit, I don't actually know any of the other birds that come into the garden. Um, it came with this wildlife explorer handbook for my six-year-old son. And a nature's discovery pack, which has got um, some really lovely um, conservation and wildlife activities in there. Uh, which if you see my previous videos, you'll know I'm quite interested in um, kind of doing in the garden. And it also came with this Nature's Home magazine, which I'll be having a look at later. Um, today, I just wanted to kind of show you um, some of my first early potatoes that I'm growing. I also wanted to tell you how I got these um, tomato plants from Wyville Garden Centre for 8p each, and how I got these um, cayenne pepper plants for 10p each. So I hope you enjoy watching. Okay, so I'm in my driveway garden and I wanted to give you a quick video um, to talk to you about my first early potatoes. Um, five of them are Swift variety and the one on the left hand side in number 69 is a Charlotte. And number 30, 39 and 34, they were chitted in a three inch pot with compost on the um, 27th of January and they were potted out then into the flower buckets on the 14th of February. Um, the other three here were put in on the 6th of February into a three inch pot and then they were potted out on the um, 25th of February so they're a little bit behind. Um, I'm really lucky in my property that I've got big windows in the front of the house which is south facing so I've only been bringing them out for the last kind of week now during the day um, and then bringing them back in at night. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they do. I've never chitted them before in compost, but I watched a homegrown veg video and thought I'd give it a go. So we'll see. Okay, while we're still on the subject of potatoes, I thought I'd show you these. These are a Desiree main crop potato. They should have been planted out last year. However, I completely forgot about them and then they stayed on the windowsill ever since. Um, the three on the left hand side really have had it. However, they do have a tiny bit of green on, so you never know. And the ones on the right hand side, you can see... Um, are alive but they're in a very bad way what i'm going to do is have a little experiment and see if um they will grow i'm going to put them into three inch um pots um and then see see where we go really you never know we might get some potatoes out of them but i'm not hopeful so let's see and these are the tomato plants that i got for just over 8p each from wyvale garden center um i was there in the february half term and i was just having a look around there um vegetable plug plants that they've got now um and they are originally i think four pounds for six plants which i think is really naughty because they're totally targeted towards the inexperienced gardener that gets really excited and spends four pounds on six of them and then goes and puts them on their patio table that night and then in the morning they're completely dead um but they had a reduced section and i thought for 50p for six plants it's worth giving it a go they were really 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 leggy um so i did i did plant them really deep but again because it's so early in the year they're still really leggy so when i um pop them on now i'm going to bury them um a lot deeper um and then go from there so um the ones on the left hand side um are these ones and these are super mamand so this variety you can see actually that they are much bigger um than the other ones then you've got black opal, which are these ones. Um, and then you have the garden pearl, which are here. Now, I can see on the garden pearl that they already look like they're getting some flower buds. So I will be um, removing those when I pop them on um, later. I've also got um, two of these, which are money maker. Now, 
I planted the I think I sowed the seeds for these on the 27th of January but yeah they they're quite stocky now so they need to be potted on and these are the chili peppers that I got from Wyvel Garden Centre this week um, for 50p for a pack of six now I don't know if you can see from the um, from here but they both do have one that has died um, unfortunately so that's 10p a plant um, now they are the um, hot cayenne pepper um, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a really big fan of the cayenne but they do dry really nicely and for 10p a plant you can't really buy the seeds sometimes cheaper than 10p per seed um, so I thought I'd give them a go you can keep chilli plants alive for up to three years um, by over winter wintering them indoors however I've actually only managed it for two years because I think on the second year they didn't get watered um, or something like that um, I'm really pleased though um, how big they are because I've got some other um, uh, other chilli plants that I put in back in January and they're not doing well at all um, however they are in these little jiffy um, coconut pellety things which I don't really get on with so today I'll also be um, potting these into some slightly bigger pots and seeing seeing where we where we go with those really hi yeah um, it's actually Sunday the 11th now I know yesterday um, I said that I'll be potting these all up in the afternoon however we did have some friends coming over and the realities of housework and stuff like that kicked in um, so I didn't have a chance in the end um, to pot these on um, I was having a look earlier through all of my plant, plant pots and things and I realised I didn't actually have that many kind of big bigger pots really um, but I do have some saved um, Costa cups and a yoghurt pot I also came across um, some really old pot noodle um, pots that I've used on quite a few occasions for plants um, as you can see though they are coming towards the end of their life now so I think I'll just be using these for one last time um, and then they go into the recycling um, I'm just using um, Wide Bell Garden Centre multi-purpose um, compost however it's not peat free um, I didn't realise that there was peat in it it does say that it's environmentally sourced however um, it's just something that I wouldn't wouldn't choose to buy but I've got it now so I will be using it um, and so that's about it really I'm just going to get on now and put all these up I have now finished putting all of these on I just need to um, tidy up now and just make sure I write down what everything is because I haven't labeled anything so before I forget um, that's really important because I've got some um, sweet chili and hot chili peppers here but I have absolutely no idea what they are so with everything else I know you know what they are I need to make sure that I um, label them straight away Okay, I've tidied up and labelled all of my plants. Um, I don't actually use the plastic plant labels um, just because it, they cost money and I end up digging them out of the ground for the next five years. Um, what I'll be doing is when I plant the tomatoes in a 10 litre pot, um, I nick the tip from homegrown veg and I've started numbering my 10 litre pots. That way I can just write down um, in my book what's in each one so it's dead easy to kind of remember throughout the season what's what. Um, this afternoon I am however going to be going through um, all of my pumpkin seeds. Um, if you've watched my previous videos you'll know that I absolutely love growing pumpkins and it's getting on now so I need to really start thinking about getting these all sown. Um, so that's something that I'll probably be working towards during the week. Um, again, if you're still watching, um, I hope you've really enjoyed this episode. And um, if you have liked it, please like. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please comment. And if you would like to continue kind of watching my journey in my little Welsh garden, please subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks very much. Bye.